for some of these sugar stocks. So, you know, the intraday charts of, uh, uh, rather a two-day chart of uh, Balrampur Chini, Sri Renuka Sugars, Dwarikesh and Dhampur comes up for you on the screen. And this is as uh, the country's sugar output remained marginally lower at 28.18 million tons till 15th March of the ongoing marketing year. Centrum Broking has revised downwards its sugar production estimate to 34 MMT, and they do expect a major uptake in prices by the end of March. Atul Chaturvedi, who is the chairman of Sri Renuka Sugars, joins us now. Thanks a lot, Mr. Chaturvedi, for joining in. Before we talk about sugar, I wanted your thoughts on ethanol itself. You've recently doubled your ethanol capacity. At the same time, wanted to understand, uh, you know, how correlated are crude prices to ethanol demand? Uh, common sense would say that, you know, if crude prices go lower, ethanol being a complementary product would also see lower demand because, you know, crude decline would result in higher demand for crude. Would you um, concur the, with the same? No, I really won't concur with that because India's uh, petroleum or crude uh, dependence on the world is almost something like 85% as of today. So the thrust on ethanol is largely to make us uh, much more self-reliant as far as our petroleum requirement is concerned. And in fact, uh, India is committed to uh, zero carbon emissions by something like 2070. And the thrust from the government side is very, very strong. And I see no reason why the thrust should actually come down, because whether we like it or not, as a producer, we are getting something like 65 rupees per liter as payment from the oil marketing companies. Whereas as a consumer, we are paying something like 105 to 110 uh, uh, rupees per liter. So there is no subsidy element involved. So that is the reason why we as a company are quite gung-ho on the ethanol expanding big time in the country. We get that point. So, uh, can you tell us, uh, you recently commissioned your distillery production capacity as well, as my colleague was asking, by when will this get commissioned? Uh, what are the additional revenues you're expecting? And what is the average margin that you make on a distillery? In fact, when we took over this company way back in 2018, uh, we decided that the way forward as far as our uh, industry is concerned is ethanol. When we took this uh, company, it, the capacity at that point of time was about 530 kiloliters per day, which now we have jacked up to about 1,250. And the last uh, uh, capacity expansion is currently undergoing commercialization. And we hope next year we will get the full impact of the same. But having said that, even compared to last year, our ethanol production during the current year is higher by anywhere between 25 to 30 percent. So ethanol is definitely helping us ramp up our revenues. And uh, it is also helping us uh, uh, get rid of excess sugar uh, during the season itself, which improves our cash flows. So I think uh, ethanol will continue to be our focus area going forward. And what are the margins here? How much higher are they from the regular sugar business? No, in fact, our regular sugar business comprises of uh, quite a few things. We are also big time into exports. We have these export-based refineries at Kandla and uh, Haldia. So export revenues are also growing at almost something like 40 to 50 percent this year. But as far as the milling side is concerned, milling side on an average, we get about 2,000 rupees per kale higher in the case of ethanol hmm. so, but we also have a brand called madhur which hmm. fetches us more or less the same realization as what we are getting for ethanol all right so, uh, and how, how much is madhur as a proportion of your overall sales madhur at the moment uh, in fact we are growing at about something like 20 percent uh, per annum and this year out of about uh, our volume should be closer to about 170,000 tons on an annualized basis this year, which would be about, I would say, 20% of our overall revenue from uh, milling side. Okay. Okay. And what about, uh, you know, your sugar realizations? How are they likely to be for the fourth quarter? Uh, the same time last year, we're just shy of 34,500 
per MT mark. Uh, where do you see that settling in this quarter and say the next couple of quarters? In fact, our take is that with the sugar production now likely to be closer to about 33 million tons and exports being about 6 million tons uh, roughly. So we feel uh, once the off season starts, which is sometime in April, May, uh, the sugar realization domestically should actually improve. I'm not too gung-ho on India exporting more than 6 million tons, which has already been committed and practically exported. But definitely the domestic market, which has been relatively subdued in the last uh, few months, uh, has the potential to improve and improve uh, uh, quite well. So, uh, Mr. Chatur... Yes, Mr. Chaturvedi, when you're talking about how ethanol will be a big volume driver and margin driver for you as well, your brand Madhur has margins which are similar to ethanol as well. That also contributes a lot to your revenues. What does it mean in terms of, uh, say, FI24 uh, margins for you? Uh, in, the, uh, quad, in the financial year gone by, you were at 6%, FI21, you were at 10%. When will you get back to that double-digit number? In fact, the margins in the current year are also much better compared to what they were last year. In fact, uh, we are, what we are seeing is uh, once our revenue growth is almost something like 40% in the current year, though the March closing is still not uh, on, but uh, definitely we anticipate that the uh, revenue is going to be higher by about 40%. And our exports are also going to be pretty much uh, higher by about uh, anywhere between 30 to 35% compared to the previous year. So overall, at the EBITDA level, also we feel uh, we are on right track and EBITDA also is likely to be much higher than what it was uh, last year. So overall, we are on reasonable track. But next year, I would say I would much rather wait for how the things pan out in June, July and how the crop shapes up. Then we'll make up our minds. But definitely, ethanol play should actually be higher by minimum 25 to 30 percent next year as well. This year, we would be supplying almost close to about uh, 200 million liters uh, to the oil marketing companies, which is higher by about 30 percent compared to the last year. Right. And, uh, you know, just a final question to wrap things up. Uh, your distillery capacity, which is currently at around 720 KLPD, increased to closer to 1250 KLPD. What does that increase entail in terms of uh, higher revenues at optimum capacity? No, definitely the revenues would definitely be higher. In fact, our revenue stream is uh, both from the uh, crushing, uh, from the uh, milling side and the refining side. As far as the milling side is concerned, we feel next year uh, the revenue contribution from ethanol could be closer to about uh, uh, 40 percent of our total revenue from the milling side. All right, Mr. Chaturvedi, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us and explaining to us the dynamics of the industry and particularly for your company as well. That's the word coming in from